Money, 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 money. Money. Money, 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 money. What's good everyone, it's your boy Natsu with another video for the channel. Welcome back to DMV Sports Zone. And my, oh my, back up the Brinks trucks. The Washington football team, Ron Rivera and co are absolutely splurging on all their players. They're keeping all their players. This is definitely, definitely a new Rivera. And as we've been saying for almost more than a year now, actually. And I was originally just going to react to the Jonathan Allen re-signing from yesterday. Because you guys know how big of a fan I am of Jonathan Allen. But uh, of course, right before I hit record on this video, Logan Thomas, the Washington football team tight end, has re-upped with the team on a brand new three-year extension that's going to keep him in town for at least the next four years. So I'm going to react to both. <laughs> Why not, right? And uh, yeah, Logan Thomas, of course, 72 catches, 670 receiving yards, six receiving touchdowns last year, was an absolute baller and really solidified his place as a starting tight end, not just on the Washington football team, but one of the best starting tight ends across the league. Pro Football Focus ranked him as the 14th best tight end in the league. I personally have him at about six or seven behind Kittle, Kelsey, Darren Waller, TJ Hawkinson, Mark Andrews, and maybe Kyle Pitts. But of course, we're just going off potential there and the fact that he was drafted number four overall in the draft. But yeah, he's definitely a top 10 tight end in my eyes. And I think the sky's the limit for him. I mean, with, with a guy like Coach Pete Hainer as the tight end coach here in DC, I think we're only going to continue to see progression out of Logan Thomas this upcoming season and really the next couple of seasons. And I do want to shout out Corey from On The Warpath, of course, because I know he's a huge Logan Thomas fan. He's been a fan of Logan Thomas from the start. Admittedly, I needed to see more progression out of him as the season went along last year before I ultimately just was like, you know what, he, he's our starting tight end. I mean, he showed me enough. I mean, who can forget the toe drag swag touchdown that he had against the Giants? I think it was at New York in that game and it was an amazing touchdown. Who can forget the touchdown against the Eagles week 17 of last year? where he basically climbed the ladder and, and, and caught a nice a nice ball that was thrown to him from Alex Smith, right? Right where he needed to catch it, right? And um, he definitely he definitely showed a lot last year. I mean, especially at the beginning of the last year, remember, everybody remembers the fumble that wasn't recovered by Logan Thomas. He was trying to like t uh, tiptoe along the sideline, but ultimately he didn't recover it even though he was pretty much right on top of the ball. To go from that moment early on in the season to that big catch against the Eagles and really just game in and game out against the Steelers as well. He was he was important, very important in that very big upset that we had against Pittsburgh. Obviously, you had Cam Sims as well, who had absolutely balled out and had that one-handed catch. But Logan Thomas had a great couple of catches as well and had a great touchdown as well from Alex Smith. So he was an absolute baller for, from us last year. And he was on our team on a very cheap contract, of course, because last year was his fifth NFL, fourth NFL season as a starting tight end in this league. This year will, of course, be his fifth season and before last year he had no production pretty much on any team he's been in the Detroit Lions I mean he showed some things and obviously that's why we signed him because of the fact that he did show some things in the year prior but with Washington he really just ultimately just bursted onto the scene as one of the best tight ends in this league much like Darren Waller a couple of years back actually and uh, it's good to see that Logan Thomas the Lynchburg Virginia native the Virginia Tech alum of course as we all know Virginia Tech quarterback is back here in DC for at least the next four years once again. And I do also want to add, I mean, he was a beast in the end zone and the red zone as well. I think he had 15 catches for 117 yards in that area of the field alone, which I believe ranks second at his position. So once again, we're getting an absolute baller or keeping an absolute baller here in DC for the foreseeable future, which is always great because oftentimes when we have homegrown talent or at least talent that comes here and balls out, usually they ultimately re-up with a different team because they get too expensive. But no, he's back here in D.C. for the next three years on an extension. And we don't know, again, the contract details yet, but it shouldn't be too much. It'll probably be like an eight or nine million average per year deal. So I don't expect it to be too, too much, but we shall see there. And then, of course, Jonathan Allen, right? The first first round pick that has re-upped with this team on a second contract since Ryan Kerrigan 2015. 
So one, that tells you the state of this franchise over the last 10 plus years. And then two, that shows you how much of a baller Jonathan Allen is as well. Everybody out there loves to talk about how he only had 17 sacks over the last four years. It was pretty much eight and a half in one year, right, in 2018. And so he only had, I believe, two and a half last year, if that. Everybody loves to talk about that and how he doesn't really get a bunch of sacks, doesn't get a bunch of tackles relative to his teammates or relative to other great defenders, other great defensive interior linemen in this league. But I've been saying time in and time out, he was arguably our best defensive lineman last year. Um, and he showed out, right? If not the best defensive lineman, then in my opinion, definitely the most consistent. He was the guy that was setting up other guys for success. I've been saying it for week after week on this channel because I feel like still a lot of fans underrate him. Now, of course, Fans might not underrate him as more as much because he's getting $72 million over four years, even though it's technically $30 million guaranteed. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal when it comes to the contract. And it'll probably be looked at as a bargain because his sack numbers are probably going to go up over the next couple of years as he grows in this defensive system along with all the other guys that are playing us uh, right by him, right? Chase Young, Montez Sweat, um, Deron Payne, who's probably going to be re-upped re next offseason. Um, of course, Jamin Davis in the front seven as well. And then obviously the secondary that we have. So this defense is definitely going to grow together. It's very young. He's the oldest member, of, I believe, of the starting defensive line. He's 26 years old only. So that shows you how young this defensive line is. I believe Chase Young is 22. Montez Sweat is 24. And Deron Payne is 24. So a very young defensive line, in my opinion, and in the opinion of many out there, the best defensive line in the league. And John Denal is a huge part of that. And he's going to continue setting up his, his teammates for success. And he's also, in my opinion, going to rack up the sack. So again, this contract is going to be looked at as a bargain in a couple of years. I promise you that. And some more numbers, right, beyond the box score numbers that fans like to, to point to to show how great of a defensive lineman Jonathan Allen was last year. 30 run stops, ranking second, second in the league. Second in the league amongst interior defense alignment. 17% pass rush win rate, which was eighth in the league for defensive tackles. And Pro Football Focus gave Allen the third highest, the third highest pass rush grade. Only third behind Chris Jones and future Hall of Famer Aaron Donald, right? The, I don't know how many times now, defensive player of the year. So again, guys, Jonathan Allen being here in D.C., I mean, he's also a Virginia native as well. He went to Stonebridge High School right there in Loudoun County. A couple miles, if that, from the uh, Innova Performance Center. In, in Ashburn, Virginia, where the Washington football team, of course, practices. So he, he loves being here, and I'm I'm glad that he's here. He's a great captain. He's a great leader, arguably the leader on our defense. So I'm glad that these two guys, Logan Thomas, Jonathan Allen, are back here in D.C. for a long, long time. And we're, again, re-signing our great players, right? Which, again, is sort of the new Rivera. We haven't really seen that much over the last 10-plus years, but... With Ron Rivera here as head coach, he's going to re-sign guys that are true Ron Rivera guys. And of course, Jonathan Allen falls into that category as a captain. Logan Thomas as well as someone who doesn't complain and just puts his head down and works. And of course, Terry McLaurin is also another one of those guys and Chase Sung as well. So I think he's going to be able to re-sign all his guys and Washington is going to be a threat. A threat not just in the NFC East, but in the NFL for the foreseeable future. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and make sure to be on the lookout for some training camp videos that are on the way from both me and Abdul, another content creator on this channel. So we have a lot of content coming at you guys this week. I believe we also have a Wizards draft recap video coming as well. So a lot of great content, but with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching me. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the DMV Sports Zone channel where we try to post five content on here as much as possible. Also go and follow our Twitter page and Instagram page dmb sports zone last but not least i wanted to start off the video by saying this but i'll say it now thank you guys so much for the love and support on that last watch football live stream that was definitely as you guys could tell the biggest live stream that we've had on this channel in the last year since we've been starting live live streams and yeah it was amazing having louis t and ed oliver and uh yeah it was amazing seeing you guys your guys support of course thank you guys so much for watching have a great evening and be on the lookout for more videos soon to come